Number one, a two kilogram particle has the xy coordinates minus 1.2 meters in the x direction and 0.5 meters in the y direction. And a four kilogram particle has the xy coordinates 0.6 meters in the x direction and minus 0.75 meters in the y direction. Both lie on a horizontal plane. At what x and y coordinates must you place a 3 kg particle such that the center of mass of the 3 particle system has the coordinates minus 0.5 meters in the x direction and minus 0.7 meters in the y direction? So let us start with the x position of the center of mass, which is given by the x position of the center of mass is given by the sum 1 over the sum of the masses times the sum of i equals to 1 until n of the masses times the x position of each particle. I know that this equation looks like it's confusing, but if you just make a few adjustments, it's really simple. For example, let's say we have three particles in this exercise. So let's say the first particle is a red particle the second particle the four kilograms particle it's a blue particle and the three kilograms particle it's a green particle okay so now we can just rewrite this using this information over here so we have one over the sum of the masses so we have to sum the mass of the first particle plus the mass of the second particle plus the mass of the third particle now we have to sum this part of the equation, which is simply the mass of the first one times the position in the x direction of the first one. For example, the mass of the first particle, which is the red one, it could be any one, but let's say this is the first one, this is the second one, and this is the third one. So the mass of the, the first one, which is equal to 2 kilograms times its position in the x coordinate, so it be, would be minus 1.2 times minus 1.2 plus the mass of the second one which is 4 kilograms times 0 0.6 plus the third one which its mass is equal to 3 in its position i don't know so let's call it x3 Okay, so we have to solve this equation and on the left side of this equation would be this value over here, minus 0.5. Okay, so this is the equation that we have to solve. So 0.5 equal 1 over 6 plus 3, 9 multiplied by minus 2.4 plus 2.4 plus 3 times x3 so this cross out with this term over here right okay so now we have minus 0 0.5 equals to 3 x3 over 9 and this is equal to x3 over 3 so we just send this 3 to the other side so x3 is equal to minus 1.5 meters don't forget to include the unit because you have done everything correct until this point, don't forget to include the units. Okay, so we have to do exactly the same thing, but for the y-coordinate. So the y-coordinate of the center of mass is equal to the sum of the masses times the sum of i equals to 1 until n, the mass of each one of the particles times times their position in the y direction. Okay, so it's roughly the same thing as we have done over here. So the sum of the masses we already know is equal to 9. And now we have the mass of the first particle times its position in the y coordinate, which is 0 0.5, plus the information of the blue particle, which is 4 times minus 0 0.75, plus 3, which is the mass of the third particle, times, uh, we don't know its, its position in the y direction, so let's call it y3, right? 
Okay, so in this side of the equation, we have minus 0 0.7 meters. And this is the equation that we have to solve. We have to find y3. Okay, so minus 0 0.7 is equal to 1 over 9 multiplied by 1. This is equal to 1 minus 3. This is equal to minus 3 plus 3 times y3. Okay, so let's send this 9 to the other side. 7 times 9 is equal to 6.3. This is equal to 1 minus 3 minus 2 plus 3 times y3. Okay, so this is dot. Uh, so let's send the 2 to the other side, it will be minus 4.3 is equal to 3 times y3. So y3 is equal to minus 4.3 divided by 3, and this gives us roughly minus 1.43 meters. And that's the answer of this exercise.